Dear colleagues, today we are in the city center of Munich in a dental practice of Professor Jose Gonzalez and Dr. Marcos Engelschalk. And we are going to make an interview with Professor Gonzalez and discuss interesting topics in periodontology. Professor Gonzalez, thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for this opportunity to speak about uh, periodontology. This is my specialization. My first question is, um, how did you decide to make the specialization in periodontology? This was always my special interest, you know, when I was studying dentistry. Um, then I was always thinking on what type of area of the whole dentistry was more interesting for me and where was my yes my focus and this was very difficult at that time because you know when you're studying you have to have a overview of everything of all areas and all topics but when i had the first lessons the first lessons on periodontology i was fascinated about the links between our mouth and the whole body and also between all the mechanisms you know in the microbiology and the immunology and and this medical aspects this fascinated me from the very very first beginning so i knew it is a very difficult topic because you know it has a lot to do with 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 medicine and with microbiology with genetics immunology but on the other side it is exactly what i wanted to learn and what i wanted to know you know so then when i finished the study i just simply knew that i have to work on periodontology for my life you're a specialist in periodontology you also uh, made a fantastic career in germany uh, in the section of imperio and thank you very much and um, uh, you also have some um, dental practice concept in your uh, practice here so what do you do how does it looks like uh, when you have a periodontal uh, patient what do you do how how do you yes. follow the treatment uh, uh, that is a very good question because as you know uh, every uh, patient with periodontitis is a unique patient. It, this is always something that you have to uh, check before. And uh, the normal, um, the normal steps or the normal protocol that I am I am using is the patient, you see the patient the first time in the first appointment and then we do the periodontal recording and assessment and we do with special charts, periodontal charts in the, on, on the computer. Uh, it's called um, Parostatus. It's a specialized program here in Germany that you can afford uh, in internet and then you can do the periodontal recordings and the, you, you assess the periodontal parameters and we take an x-ray, a complete ortho uh, pantomogram, so it's a digital one and then you make the diagnosis yes the periodontal diagnosis and you speak this you communicate this to the patient okay. so this is the first step and um, the second steps the so in the in the protocol that i am using is then to bring up a good oral hygiene so that we have some reduction of the oral plaque and of the bleeding and this is done mostly in Germany by the dental hygienist or the specialized prophylaxis um, assistant and, uh, and this is done by them and this requires um, 
I don't know, one or two um, sessions in order to correct this uh, situation with the oral hygiene. And after that, then you decide what type of treatment is necessary for the patient if you will do some mm, normal periodontal treatment or you need to do, it's better to do a full mouth disinfection and you can also decide in, 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 in very um, severe cases if you also will do a treatment with antibiotics, with systemic antibiotics and um, this is this is what I am I am doing in in, in the clinic. And what about the follow up? Uh, if you have a patient with periodontitis, but he has also some problems with fillings, or you have to do some fillings, you have to do some prosthetic treatments. Uh, how does it looks like? What comes first? What is the next step? And so on. Yes, uh, that is um, like this. In, in in we are trying to correct the 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 problems the local factors uh, in the mouth so before the treatment of periodontitis it is necessary to make the fillings and to correct the fillings yes and to eliminate the carriers and then after this you do the periodontal treatment but of course periodontal treatment always before the prosthetic restorations before uh, using crowns or bridges or implants for the prosthetic restoration of the patients. This is completely necessary. It is a must to do first the periodontal treatment. Okay. And when do we do the re-evaluation? The re-evaluation is a very important step. And in my clinic, I am doing the re-evaluation about six to ten weeks after the treatment and then after doing the re-evaluation by assessing all the periodontal parameters then I take the decision to perform a supportive periodontal treatment on a regular basis, forever, yeah. forever, or to perform some type of regenerative periodontal treatment mm -hmm. using um, proteins like uh, the MDOGAIN, for example, or uh, uh, enamel matrix proteins, or using also some type of of membranes mm -hmm. for doing guided tissue regeneration that depends also every time on the specific situation of the bone defects yes or just simply uh, performing a supportive periodontal treatment the decision about the frequency of this supportive periodontal treatment is always based on the clinical parameters that you assess during the re-evaluation after the, after the whole complete anti-infectious therapy or after the regenerative therapy, periodontal therapy. And you know, uh, just giving some type of, of tips, it is clear if you have at the initial Initially, if you have a, a severe case, a severe periodontal situation, then it is, it is necessary to perform a supportive periodontal treatment every three to four months. But if you have initially just a more liked periodontal situation, uh, periodontitis or, or, or like a moderate periodontitis situation, then you can perform a supportive periodontal treatment every five or six months. However, I just can recommend that every patient that has a periodontitis and that visits to you 
because of periodontitis that at least two times a year you have to perform a re-evaluation and the patient must have a supportive periodontal treatment. Better every four to three months. Professor Gonzalez, uh, what can you advise to young people, students of dentistry? Uh, that is very, very important for me because I think that in the den dental study the, you have to always have also a focus on the medical medical aspects of, 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 the, of the health and diseases and of the organism in general and that is also my advice to the to the students that uh, together with all our possibilities to restore and to maintain the teeth and to keep oral health that it is also very important for all of us to consider the aspects of the whole body the health of the organism in order to understand it well and to, to treat it well and to have a wide overview of what is happening with our organism. That's my advice. Professor Gonzalez, thank you very much for a very interesting discussion. Thank you.